Broker Mountain Science Center in our at-home science activity today is we are going to make a star projector. To make a star projector, you just need a few things. You need an empty toilet paper tube. You need some paper. It can be white paper, it can be construction paper, color doesn't matter. Um, you need a rubber band, a pencil, a push pin, and some scissors. Now, when we talk about making a star finder, what we're going to do is we're going to actually make a constellation. So do you already know of any famous constellations? Well, I can think of a couple that I know, but if you're not sure, maybe you have an astronomy book that you could look through, or you can even look online and you want to think about which constellation you want to make. Got it? Okay, good. So to start, you're going to take your toilet paper tube and you're going to put it on your paper and you are going to draw the circle of this toilet paper tube. So you can see it doesn't look great, but it is there. And this is going to be where we view our constellation. So we want to cut a circle around it, but we want to give it a pretty good birth, maybe like an inch or so around it. So we're going to cut You can see, well, you'll be able to see in just a minute. There we go. So now it almost looks kind of like a donut where we have our outline and then we have this extra rim around it. Now you're going to draw your constellation. If you want your constellation to look the way that it's going to look in the sky, then you actually want to draw it backwards than the picture. I'm going to draw one of my favorites. This one is the Big Dipper. I'm going to draw my seven stars, and again, I'm going to draw it backwards, so it's going to look a little different to us. For this next part, you might want an adult to help you because this push pin can be a little sharp. Wherever you drew your stars, that's where you're going to poke your holes through. One, two, three. And what I like to do to make sure that I have enough light shine through is I actually just poke it through on the other way one more time. It kind of makes that hole a little bit bigger so that we can see those stars better. There we go. All right, now I have my constellation made. So I'm going to attach it to my toilet paper tube. I'm gonna make sure that the stars are in view of my tube. And I'm going to just kind of fold the edges down and add my rubber band. All right, so now we have our star projector. Are you ready to see what our constellation looks like? Let's go find out. Okay, so now that we have our star projector made, we are gonna see what it looks like in the dark. Uh, so we're gonna head into our darkened room in just a moment. One material that I forgot that you will need is a flashlight. If you have an actual flashlight, you can use that. If not, you can use the flashlight that's on a phone. Just to show you what it's gonna look like when we get in there, you will hold your star finder up like this, and then you're gonna put the light through the tube this way. So let's go ahead and head on in and see our stars. Okay, so we have our darkened room, we have our flashlight, we have our star finder. Let's do that. And what do we see? You should be able to see the seven stars from the Big Dipper. Now the Big Dipper is going to look different in the sky depending on what time of year it is. This is what it's going to look like in the winter months. And if you want to see what it'll look like in the other months, all you have to do is rotate your star projector. So we have the winter, we rotate for spring, we keep rotating for summer, and even more for fall. So now that you've made a star projector, what's really easy about this is you can make multiple star projectors with the same star viewer. So all you have to do is take the rubber band and the paper off, put a different constellation on, then you have a different star projector. My challenge for you is that every constellation that is in the sky has a story that's associated with it. So once you pick your constellation and you make your star finder, I want you to look up a constellation story, maybe read one or two, and then I challenge you to make up your own and to tell it to your family as you show them your star projector. 
Thank you so much for tuning in and we hope to see you again at Roper Mountain soon. Bye.